Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking Segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Over here with Chef Alison Davis at Wild Time Cooking. And it looks like, because I saw a sneaky recipe, that you're going to be making some type of jam. Yeah, I picked up a magazine. Um, I was talking to you. This is the time of year where we're typically looking at ways that we can harvest vegetables from the garden or fruits yep. and save them for the winter months. And so what we're going to be making is a jam, a berry jam. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go in with some strawberries here. Um, we're going to actually start boiling this, these fruits and just getting oh. the, the um, juice you out of them. them. Mm -hmm. we'll stir so fry we've them. got some strawberries. Mm. Um, we're going to go in with some Did we get a spoon? raspberries. Yeah. And blueberries. Okay. So we're just going to get all those working and then Ooh. they're going to start to boil. Well, they'll um, start to sugar, won't they? All the sugar will come out. Well, like well what I'm actually going to add to them oh. is some honey. Oh, yeah. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. What does the honey do, Alison? Well, the sugar, you know, is going to work. Apart from where I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, our pan got a Ooh. little hot. I'm turning our uh, heat off for a second. But you can already see how that honey in the... It's going to pull the juice out. You see how it's oh, boiling yeah. now? Yeah, so it's beautiful. And we're just going to boil that. And then we're going to start to mash that up. And then what we're going to add, typically jam is, um, often has the uh, pectin in it or almost like a gelatin. But instead, we're going to add um, chia seeds. Yeah. Um, we made chia pudding once before. Did we? Um, oh, here. yeah. And so what happens with chia is it actually um, swells and it will help the, to thicken the uh, berries themselves. Isn't that a Thai dish, if I'm thinking the correctly? The chia pudding, yeah. um, I have seen. But you're thinking of rice pudding. Uh, as a Thai dish. Was I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> so, chia seeds, though, are super beneficial. They're great in fiber. Um, they also are um, just an ancient grain full of omega-3 fatty acids as well. So this is just a great healthy thing to add, and it's going to help you to have that nice, like, thick, jam-like consistency. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you will put this in a jar, we'll keep it, and then this is something that we're going to be able to spread on some bagels. Okay. Um, and I'm actually going to toast some bagels off with a little bit of butter. When do I put the... So the next thing we're going to do with our jam, I've got this fun little masher. We actually have these in the store that you can sell. It's spring-loaded. Oh. <laughs> Shoot. Why does everything get the hot I on don't here? know. It's always you. It's always me. I know. But we're going to mash these berries up, okay, now that they've boiled for a few minutes, okay? And so that's just going to get more of a smoother jam consistency. So don't mash too fast. Oh. Okay, but use that little spring load to mash your berries up. I'm going to slice up a few bagels here, and then we're going to toast these off in the pan with some butter. Well, this seems like a bit of fun, but it's not doing the blueberries. You just got to be careful if it's, too, if it's too hot. All right, and then no, we're going to add our chia in, and our chia is going to, like I said, bring this together to where it's more like a jam-like consistency. But really, um, you could add some mint in this if you wanted. Yeah. Um, you could add some orange zest to this. Ginger. Lemon zest. Ginger would be nice. Yeah. You, you know, I love ginger. You could also even add, like, some spices if you wanted. Yeah. Now, when do you um, want me to put this, this in? All right. Well, um, now that we've mashed it, we can go ahead and add some. I'm going to just double check. We only need about a third of a cup. Mm. That's good. That's a third, do yeah. you think? Yeah, and so the, what happens with the cheese? As we say in Australia, she'll be right. Scant, just a scant more. What's a scant? It's just a talk in the oh, kitchen culinary. talk. Yeah, kitchen talk. All right, so you'll see how it'll thicken, and then once it oh, cools, yeah. it will even set and thicken more. So I like using chia for a lot of things, especially like that for is jams, thickening. because that, well, there you go. Um, all right, well, I'm going to toast off some bagels, and then That's we are going to maybe uh, let this cool and spread a little bit of this on. Throw a little cream cheese or that mascarpone that you love so much on a bagel with this. Where did you learn this trick with the chai seeds? Well, um, I've been more, um, experimenting a little more with chia, but yeah, they are just, they swell and they're perfect for That's jams really and clever. jellies. Because yeah. it's also very natural. It is. And it doesn't even look like I've got chia seeds in there. No, and it won't taste like that. They soften up, so they're not going to be like biting into a seed. Oh, I could eat all of that right now. 
Well, it might burn you. your tongue right now, but it'll yeah. be perfect here in a bit. Exactly. <laughs> tell everyone where to get the recipes. All right, you can go to WTVQ.com forward slash recipes. Just click on that recipes tab and you're going to find this recipe and many more. And you can find me at Chef Allison Davis on Instagram. And we'll be right back after this short break.